In this video, we'll be going over lock scroll. Lock scroll is a convenient way to maintain the same position across multiple charts when using the scrolling feature to move forward or backward on the historical price axis, like so. Now let me show you the lock scroll in action. So we can enable or disable lock scroll via the view menu. In this case, I have enabled it, but I can disable it by selecting it again. And of course, you can also toggle enabling and disabling via the lock scroll icon found in the toolbar here at the top. So if I select lock scroll, it's now enabled. So let's bring up another Apple chart. This time, let's select 15 minutes. Let's put these side by side. Now, if I scroll the left chart, the daily chart, you'll notice that the chart on the right will also scroll to the same position. So let's take a look at our first candle here has a date of June 25th. And the first candle here also has a date of June 25th. Now scroll lock will work for any charts that are on the same page or for any charts that are linked to the same color. So for instance, if I were to select a different layout here, these are all on the same page and even though they're different symbols and we can change different time frames here we can make this one hour 15 minute we'll make this five minute you will notice as I scroll one the others will scroll and this will also apply if they're linked by color so for example if I made Apple red part of the red group and the euro part of the red group. If I scroll these two, you'll notice the bottom two do not scroll as they are not part of the same group. Okay, however, if I scroll the bottom one, all four of them will scroll because they're still part of the same page. Now, if I were to make the euro pound green and the dollar yen green, now only the bottom two will scroll because they are linked to a specific group, in this case green. Okay, so that's it for lock scroll and we'll see you in the next video.